What's good, Ravens fans? Thank you guys for joining me so much. We do this every week. I want to do it again where I was wrong and where I was right about the Ravens against the Patriots. And we're going to start off with where I was wrong. And the first thing I was wrong about was Rashard Bateman. I thought he was going to have another great game, so much so that I even had him in my fantasy league and he let me down. He let the Ravens fans down. A couple of drop catches, a big fumble in the game, just things that we can't have receivers doing, especially on our team where receivers do not get a high volume of pass attempts to even mess up. So we really need him to step up because he let me down. Again, I don't want to go into detail on every single thing that he messed up. I'm really not that much of a masochist, but the catch on the sideline, he has to catch that. Uh, again, the fumble is just unacceptable. And these things are things that we know he can be better at. He did come back with another big catch later in the game, but all in all, I still think that I was disappointed in the way he played. I was wrong about that. I thought he was going to have a big, big day because he had a big day against Miami. I thought he was growing. I thought the Ravens were going to try to use him more, uh, but it's just, it's not meant to be for some reason against the Patriots. So hopefully uh, Bateman comes back next week with a better game. But for right now, I was wrong about him, especially this week. What I was right about uh, was, again, Devin DuVernay. I've been saying his praises for a long time now, definitely the last couple of weeks. Uh, DuVernay has just been playing lights out in every aspect of the game. He's been great, had another great return and the kick return, the punt return, game another strong reception in the corner of the end zone just playing the lights out as a receiver and again when you use him as a decoy in that jet sweep it opens up the most space Lamar has to run back in the day when our running game was dominant Lamar would kind of get that space off of simple running back options now because the running game is not dominant he doesn't really get that space anymore but when you use Duvernay you do get that space and I thought it was super impressive I'm super happy the way everything is coming out with Duvernay he is really 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 having a great year so far and again in my opinion is the second most important offensive weapon i'm not including the quarterback i'm only including receivers and tight ends and running backs he's just been so great that i think he deserves a mention and so i was right about him and i've been right about him for the past couple of weeks so shout out to Devin duvernay i was wrong about greg roman guys i know a lot of us don't like greg roman this was arguably one of the best games he has coached in the last two years the play calling was diverse the plays were going to every single part of the field it felt like a lot of plays in the red zone weren't just hey Lamar do Lamar things it felt like that he had some plans some schemes to help out against the Patriots defense I was really really excited about that and we have to give credit where it's due every single game of this season the Ravens have scored over 20 points last two games we've scored in the high 30s I know that we don't like Greg Roman as a whole Ravens fans but when you look at the numbers it's hard to actually argue against him he's actually if you look at the numbers guys one of the best offensive coordinators in the league and I think that's the reason why John Harbaugh is really committed to him and his style of coaching because he's going and getting results from a numbers perspective a lot of us think that's Lamar but you can't really separate Lamar versus Greg Roman because Greg Roman's calling the plays and we can see that right now it's just been an excellent offensive showing and Greg Roman deserves some responsibility for that I'm not a Greg Roman fan so again I was wrong on this one and I admit when I was wrong so good job Greg Another place where I was right, again, is the pass rush. The pass rush is real, guys. Uh, I want to give a shout out to Matty BK. He was playing excellent. But again, Mac Jones was always in pressure, constantly in pressure. The pass rush was going to get him out of the pocket. He had to make some really excellent plays in order just to get completions. The pass rush is real. A lot of players stepped up. Even when we had Justin Houston go down, they were still getting a pass rush from our interior lineman, which is just the best kind of pass rush you can get. So we need a way to step up. But all those other boys on the defensive line are really really performing and really really playing their butts off hopefully again Justin Houston's not too hurt Michael Pierce is not too hurt but currently they are doing excellent and um, the pass rush is real and I'm excited about that and I cannot wait to see what happens when everyone is back healthy and ready to go the last place I was wrong guys was Justice Hill I have to give a shout out to our subscriber Cherish Lady she literally said let Hill run the ball and he really did run the ball and he was the best running back on the team this week so again, I was wrong. Cherish Lady was right. Um, so again, I give credit where it's due and I take blame where I need. We know that I was wrong about Justice Hill. You know, I don't like Justice Hill. You know, I think he's underachieving for his speed and his talent. But this week he said, no, I want to be the guy. I'm going to be the guy. Give me the ball. I'll make big plays happen. And he did that. John Harbaugh said that he talked to him about being a star running back. I won't go that far now. I'm going to need more than one performance before I call you a star. But 
I will say that he did play excellent. He proved me wrong this week. We'll see what he does next week. I'm gonna be on him because again, I, I you know, I do got a vested interest now because I, I did say I didn't think he was going to be here uh, too much longer. But right now, he's the best running back in that group um, with Dobbins being hurt. So we'll see. But he has proven me wrong. And then the last thing about me being proven right is again the veteran DBs, specifically our cornerbacks. I put out a video about a week ago, a week and a half ago, saying that while the Ravens won't have a problem with a star cornerback uh, being beat because people figure him out because we have so many cornerbacks, so much depth. But after that, Miami. Miami Dolphins game, people were in the comments coming at me. I read the comments. Now they don't affect me. I've been doing this for a while, as you guys know, but I did read the comments. They were coming at me and I was like, you know, I was wrong about the DBs last week. Well, I was right again because they played a really big role in our ability to get the job done. Super, super, super excited about Marcus Peters and Marlon Humphrey. Uh, the turnovers were awesome. Brandon Stevens even played well uh, compared to how we played last week. So I really, really, really am excited for our DBs coming back and helping me out to prove me right about them. And hopefully with them getting more time in real game situations on the field together and the young cornerbacks coming along as well, that cohesiveness continues to merge together and our defensive backfield becomes the defensive backfield we all know it can be. So again, those where I was wrong and those where I was right, I wanna say thank you guys so much. You guys let me know in the comments. What do you guys think about the list? Was I wrong and somewhere else? You let me know. You think you guys are wrong? Let me know that too. I would love to, love to hear that. So thank you guys so much and go Ravens.